Alright, welcome back all to another Puff Puff Live art stream here on YouTube. So today we're doing more landscape stuff, episode 590. Um, we've come a long way. Let's keep practicing and improving our work together. And in like an hour we'll do critique time and that'll be pretty fun I think. So enjoy. I'll let some people know. <clears throat> Ooh, today was an exhausting day. <laughs> but now we're going to have some fun. Fun, he says, quote unquote. And that's coming out of my speakers. Sorry! Ah! There we go, that's better. At least there's no echo this time, right? Last time there was like this crazy echo. <laughs> you guys were like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Loki, <laughs> show me how to draw legs. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna do more Swiss landscapes. Let me know if you want to see a different kind, and we'll do that instead. Free zombie, how you doing? Be my trainer. You should send me a whole portfolio or a list of your photography, zombie, and then let me critique them. I think, uh, I think that would be a really good practice for both of us. Because I really like your stuff, but I also want to help you improve it, and I think that would be cool. I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. We're going to use a color that I wouldn't think to use, which would be like this color here. I didn't even think about that. I'm like, wow. I want to do this one here. Or we can try this one again, but I'll try this one here. And I want it to be... If it's going to be yellow, the opposite should be like a... I don't want to do purple again, we'll do like a blue. Like right here. The hills in the back want to be like a low tone gray. Kind of faded. So maybe it's something like this. <clears throat> Nor stop breaking the door. <laughs> oh whoa! Breaks through the door, throwing my throwing a flying bison at it. It's just like <laughs> just like spin through the door. Yeah, you should send me a whole bunch of them, though, zombie, and then we'll go over them. It's my job. Yeah, it's Loki's job. We need to make more comics of Loki just wrecking my wrecking my stuff. I want a bunch of layers, because I'm tired of making clipping mask layers. Bing, bing, bing. We'll do something like that. <clears throat> and a little bit darker in that blue, that Gucci blue. Um, like this. Not too dark to keep it a little bit lighter right there. Gonna be that foreground, and then above it will be I don't want this to be yellow, but like vibrant.
ground is a dark value. Things in distance are midtone. Sky's a light value. So here. But not too close to this one. So maybe like there. Let's say there's more reflective light. Wash your green, how you doing friend? Thanks for all the likes guys, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. <laughs> so I was promoted the world's most gayest person. Yeah! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, thank you, zombie. I appreciate that. There. Bro. Hey yo! <laughs> I have the heckest trophy. <laughs> Xbox has the gayest trophy. Oh boy. I love pans. Zombie, or not zombie, uh, Kujin, how you doing, friend? Hi, hi, Demon. Um, these are different layers here. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna make this an even darker color. Make this color darker color. Yeah, that's a nice value difference there. And then this maybe I can make a little bit lighter of this. Or darker maybe? Like this color darker. And then I want some layers to this mountain here. <laughs> My name is you. Hello. Thanks for the likes, guys. I appreciate that. <laughs> the head is. I should, I should have live chat. That should be a thing. Super chat. I drawing guy drawing. I mean, what's the point of getting offended? It was funny, really. Wait, what, what, who's offended? Some person was saying Crown and I are gay in a mean way. Oof. Called out. Yeah, you too, Kujin. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> I drawing a guy drawing. <laughs> oh gentle demon, you're so you're so silly. You're so silly. Let's do now I can come up with these like details on the mountain tops. On the mountain tops. I'm trying to figure out what the the base pieces are for making these mountains, right? Like what are what what defines a mountain? Is it these lines? Is it uh, is it these structures? Because then it'll simplify moving forward. What do you guys think? <clears throat> This is going to be more mid-tone and more warmer version of that. This. I have some, some bigger ones over here. And a little bit bigger one over here. does kind of have this like rolling feel but I want it to be lurking in the shadows <laughs> I'm Picasso volume 2 oh thanks buddy <laughs> and with the point of getting offended it was funny yeah hey pilfer going to be working on stuff be lurking in the shadows you got it bud you, you do it you know what you're doing fam 
That <clears throat> now it looks like the snow's kind of coming down off the mountaintops, which I think is kind of cool. Whether or not that's right, I don't know. I like these like split clips here. A little bit more structure going on here now. Pill for handsome pup. Oh, thanks, zombie. You're the best. I'm not that handsome, though. I'm just a regular bro. <laughs> I like eggs. Washi, you like a lot of things that we're always just like typical washing. Washing needs to get washed. Go take a shower at washing. I'm smelly. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. But... He's like, ah, Mahar. Or she's like, Mahar. I am more handsome. Whoa, zombie ding! Jeez Louise, called out. <laughs> uh, so when I eat hamburgers, I make sure it's upside down. So the flavor profile hits the tongue first, and then I remove the meat, and I eat the meat separately, and then I scrape off the ketchup, and I'm like, Bleh. and then I get the leaves, and I like dip them in the, the soy sauce, and then the buns, throw those out the window. That's the correct way to eat a ham an hamburger, hamburgueses. How do you eat your hamburgers? I eat both at the same time. <laughs> You're a madman. You're a madman. Are you out of your mind? See these two colors here. Let's find some connecting part to it. It does need to be more mid-tone, and then I'm gonna make it more gray like that. But it's too close to the other one, so I'm gonna pull it down a little bit to there. <clears throat> so now there's like kind of a river going on here. If I can create like a maybe like something at the base to connect these two parts. Maybe that'll work. Let's find out. Ooh, there's like this right here. I can zoom in and see like all this right here. Well, something like that. Before the rocks start, it like smooths out because the land falls. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I'm just thinking about random stuff. Pilfer Spanish is evolving. That means I can be 100% free. You can always be free, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> wait. And drink gravy. Ew. I imagine you like unhinging your jaw and putting like the burger and then dumping the fries in and then just pouring gravy on top and then just your mouth just like squishes it all together. The entire channel and the people who make it up the best. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gentle Demon. Appreciate that. Gravy is the best drink. You're not wrong. It's like salty. Salt. It's a salty smoothie. <laughs> oh my. Maybe if these are like softer at the base. Let's try that bad boy. Nah, I like the I like this here. And then maybe some more shapes in this part here. Maybe it can go like cuz there's some there are some parts at the top on here that are darker and I want to see if I can keep that although I should add some more structure to it too okay there has to be more decisions in this I can't just like randomly sporadically 
throw stuff on there just because, even though that's what I always want to do, is just like get my ideas out instantaneously. Ooh, that's kind of nice, that dark. It's funny because these two colors are the exact same, but it looks darker up here. What if I did this gray here? Yeah, that kind of works. And then it kind of gives it that identity of shadowing. Keep that same kind of like triangle shape too. And then add more detail here to make this one more uh, prominent so it stands out more in like one section. So maybe I have the drawing go like this or maybe kind of like this here to where it kind of leads the eye at an angle. Gravity, I mean gravy, pilfer gaming stream when? <laughs> do, what game do you want me to play? Terraria? I play Terraria, but there's going to be a lot of foul language maybe. I don't know actually if there's going to be any bad language. Terraria is just a whole thing. But if that's... Is it because you guys want to play too? Or is it just because you want to see me play games? I can always play World of Warcraft on stream. That's something that I've been playing a lot lately. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> there we go. So there's a little bit more detail over here and less over here. And I want to keep that going. You guys can watch me PvP, I don't know. Oh, we love you too, Gentle Demon. You're very sweet, buddy, and we appreciate that. Interesting, tell me more, says Crown Fox. Mm. Nah, we prefer art. <laughs> Soak's like, mm, nah. So it's like, no thank you. And we, she immediately calls me out. She's like, the minute Pilfer plays games, I'm all, I'm out, I'm done. Soak, no! <laughs> I was about to do all this off stream, but I was like, you guys deserve more Pilfer pup art. You guys deserve more than this. You deserve what's better. Bum, 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 bum. So now I want to frame this kind of like that, right? I like this idea here. And I'll have more of these details going on this way. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm still trying to figure this out for myself as well. And I want to make this as like interesting and... I don't know, like learning full or educational as possible. Educational. Some like, I don't know if it needs those kind of details, but you know what? Well, let's have some fun with it, right? Do I think this looks good? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's alright. I'll do this. And we'll tone that bad boy down. <clears throat> Put it in the back. That's too much layered on top of each other for shadows. It needs to be more specific. Can you be more specific? Let's try this. No. I mean, I like that idea, but it just doesn't work. Okay, hold on. Oh, Jeru Papu! I thought I was lagging, lol, sorry. Pilfer Pup's just taking a sweet time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Loving how it's shaping up. Oh, thanks, Kujin. I appreciate that, bud. I really want to capture that mountainous, like, appeal. I can't get it to be this nice yet, though, where it's like those really like overpowering mountains that feeling of adventure and like how small we are on this planet I mean, look at that that's crazy god created a crazy world for us to explore and we're like i want to play video games mom i want to eat mcdonald's 
I deserve what I have. <laughs> Zombie, you do deserve what you have. Wait, is it bad or good? If it's bad, you don't deserve it. If it's good, you do. Oh, okay, so I've been wa wanting to change my Sona OC's tie color, but I don't know what color. What color is the rest of the character? You want that palette to work, right? Let me see. Is it fire? Are we talking about fiare? Fiare! Let me see. <laughs> Taylor! Wow! This, this rabbit says it all, friend, right here. I don't know what this is from, but I love it. That's gonna be my new Facebook picture. Um, let me see. Great job. Unbad, why wouldn't you be a, a mod? I may or may not just delete my pixel art album. Don't do it, Washi! I need to do a pixel art thing. But I need to learn pixel art before I jump on that. Now let's see. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking for your OC. Where is that fire OC? I don't think you guys are correctly using the OC channel. It's mostly just chat and not OCs. And there's a hand in there now. There we go. I think this is James Charles. Jamis Charles. Where are you at, fam? I can't find it, I'm sorry. Post it in the actual fridge and then we'll we'll do color palettes together. About flame. Their palette has brown, orange, black, and pink. Pink is an outlier of that palette. Yeah. Put it in the actual fridge real quick because I'm at the base of it and then uh we can go over that. Wah! Let's see. Alright, I want I do want some kind of shadows, but I need to figure out how to incorporate them correctly. Because I think they are gonna have to be separate from each other. I kinda want this section here to have It looks like I'm avoiding too much of these smaller parts, so I'm gonna have to climb. Because this form, right, it like rolls over. It's not like, I mean, I guess it kind of is just jagged like this, so we could do something like that. Um, kind of like this. Maybe something like this too. And maybe a little bit here too, oops. Bit. So if this is one triangular form here, then it'll get split by these things here. see if I could do something with that but it'll be this color but maybe just a little bit more this is a gray there so it would have to be like the opposite side to really pull that out and maybe something between both of them like this Ooh, that kind of does capture it pretty well I think you do like a multiply now Ooh, that's kind of neat too Ooh, I like that. Let's 
That's showing too much how bright that all is, so I want to tone that bad boy down. But I do like that color that we have going on here. And then maybe this could be also more blue like that. Actually, the entire base might be able to be blue. I'll keep that though. <clears throat> Thank you, I appreciate that, Washi Green. It's showing the form um, of different parts, right? So it's like, if these are teeth, you want those teeth to have that one side cut out, so that way it shows like the shadow, right? Because light has to hit it from some direction. Okay, cool. So you're saying this is his outfit. Pepsi in the house. Pepsi, how you doing, friend? The nose. Pepsi in the nose. Pepsi's picking her nose again, guys. Get her! This is the nose police. No nose picking here. When I was younger, I used to pick my nose all the time. And by younger, I mean like five years ago. <laughs> I think it was like a, a nervous thing, like a nervous tick, because I have those. But I'm so comfortable with you guys, I don't even get them anymore. So take that, universe. Universe, no! Alright, so we got, I like these blues. Um, so orange is between yellow and red, right? And which means yellow is to blue as red is to cyan. So if orange is between those two, then we want a color between those two like this. So I can take this uh, and these pants can be that same color. Take that thing and then also bring this over here. And then the green actually does work to be honest. Um, what colors were you thinking for? for your, your tie. You said you wanted to change the color. Um, Fapsy. Sim. Pilfer and meme review. <laughs> All right, we'll do a Pilfer meme review at the, the end of the stream. Did you have your daily dose of burb? Burb. Burb. Um, so we have this orange here and you could do like I think the green actually works here if you wanted to do that. But what do you want this character to portray? Like fun, uh, anger, love. You can have a pink one for love. But you also want it to be referenced from these two colors. So it'll be the third color in the palette that you choose. Um, so we have like orange and brown, I guess you could say that, are like one blue and like that dark blue. I like looked at red, green, blue, and purple as the time, right? I think I liked the way the red one looked because it stood out a lot. Like that. Um, and it makes sense because it's right next to orange, right? So it's just a little bit over um, down here. The green works because you're going from here to here. So you could also do that. But I think the green looks a little off in my opinion. I think that red looks really good. You could also make it like a, a less prominent color, but still red. Um, but I think it goes with like the personality of the color. Also, where do the ties line up? Where should a tie end on your body? It should end at the belt, it looks like. Yes, they all end at the belt. So this actually would go like this. So it would go like that. But yeah, I think uh, honestly red fits the most. And it's really just, <laughs> all right, see ya, uh, Unbad. Thanks for stopping by. Play that Zelda song, Unbad. Bro, in bed. Finally, my cat stopped eating dog food. Well, good job, cat. <laughs> birds are cute. I agree. I love drawing birds. They're fun. So let's go back to... Where's that land piece here? What color is this? Is that blue? 
it should be maybe like a yellow. So this color here. Oops. Well, I think it just stands out less as the blue. But what if I made this a little bit lighter? A little bit darker? That's right, because it's between these two. Oh no, my other colors. Where have you gone? There they are. What if these were on top of that? No. I do want this to be... Well, I guess the shadows don't matter much, do they? Can you repeat the Z? Demon die? <laughs> Over there looks like me. Oh my gosh, is this what you look like in real life, Pepsi? I knew it. I knew it all along. I think there needs to be highlights in this to show what it is I'm trying to do. Um, but I, there also needs to be like structures and things to make it the foreground stand out a little bit more. Um, so we'll use there's like houses. Here. This one will make lower. And then we'll have this sort of here. It's a church, a Christian church. concentration going and then I'll make them like a, a really vibrant color like white Wow okay that didn't work at all Boop. maybe if there's like a house over here like this yeah having something in, like closer to the foreground helps a lot pilfer do you do volcanoes yet <laughs> No, that's a good one though, thank you. Send me, uh, there's a channel in Discord called Stream Intervene. Send me pictures of volcanoes that you think are cool and then I'll draw them. Grams across. E <laughs> chasing demon around. Oh, let's see. I want to try. Three. Okay, 
think that's pretty good. I'm gonna be like a few outliers. I can't get it. Cool. Um, okay, so I wanted this, and then I was gonna delete away from that. But then it doesn't work anymore. It has to be over it. I guess maybe you just have to ignore... The shadow has to take more importance than... Looks too messy. I like these big open areas. But I would like some more like this. The oboes in the back are probably <laughs> dead from born. <laughs> so I love it. That's so funny because it's so true. <laughs> and that's why, men, we don't play oboes. Why is my cat barking? It's like, rah, rah. A little more onto red and see what shade I prefer. Yeah, it's more so do you want it to be like prominent and stand out or, or less so, and you want his personality to stand out more. But the red also showcases that like bright and ag aggressive personality, energetic. Oh no. Where do I post the volcanoes again? There's a channel called Stream Intervene. It's under... Oh, sorry. Um, well, that just... I'll make it again. Next channel. Stream... What do we call it? Post. I'll just call it Stream Post. There we go, it's in stream post. Hi, Wash. <coughs> Let's see if we can get more land to go this way. It might get rid of all that though, so what if we did clouds? Cloud stripes. But I don't, I don't know if I want them to be too crazy. I need to be blue. Maybe I will make them darker boys. They're gonna be dark yellow boys. Maybe like this color, dark boys. Maybe they'll be like the same kind of. Maybe they could be like bigger. It's a UFO cloud, my favorite cloud. That's really foreboding. <laughs> it feels like dark. Jeez Louise. I could have like lights coming down though on the church. I think that would be pretty cool. And the light would be coming this way. So then the clouds would be... Yeah, because the light has to come that way, because of the clips.
work those. Void. Void those. Wait, what? Oh gosh, Bunny needs to go. I can't look at it. Ah! That's my face when, uh, when, when Eloria scolds me. I was like, Eloria! <laughs> It's an oboe player. As an oboe player, I, feel, I will feel bad because we never get interesting piece, and if we do, it's so hard. <laughs> so it's the extreme of like never get to do anything and then have really, really uh, difficult work. <laughs> I'm full of sweat. <laughs> Pilfer, can I use your shower? The bathroom here is not available. Yeah, you can use it, man. It's, you don't have to ask. You're just going there. Avoid those. I'm playing with my Cintiq. I like that smell like, hmm. Very nice. I'm a triangle player. You just do one of these. You make this shape over and over again. You, you do dinner time. Is it really good? I, I'm glad. I think it more fits your preferred style. Meowford style. I wasn't gonna stream today, but I'm like, I miss you guys. It's only been 24 hours. What am I gonna do? Time to stream! That's looking pretty good. I finished my new character. Oh boy. I want to see General Demon. Let me see that. That bad boy. So far we've done one picture today. I accidentally cut my thumb while trying to cook canned meatloaf. It wasn't healed. It still hasn't healed. Oof, when did you cut it? It's probably gonna be a few days, like three days. Give it three days! Hold on. I'm a triangle player. This is such an upgrade. I feel all fancy with- Oh yeah, you have one of these. One of these gloves. So you can grab the thing, but then your hand can like slide all over the thing. The power! Old Spice Shampoo. Actually, yeah, I do have Old Spice Shampoo, thanks. There's one called Suave, and I'm like, hey, hey, that's me. I don't know if you've met me, but I'm pretty suave. Just saying. It's whatever. It's no big deal. Pop, 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 power. I finished my new character. I actually cut. Oh my gosh. I'm rereading the same chat from a year ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is pretty fantastic. I like this picture. <laughs> Patrick Starfish. Could you imagine if somebody climbed all the way up there and was able to do that? That would be a thousand out of ten. Also, it would be the greatest thing ever. That's a fantastico. Okay, so we doing volcanoes next. This this picture seems like it's almost done. I'm not too fond of the colors. I think there needs to be darks to more more darks and lights. Uh, 
and also maybe not these clouds. I don't know. The clouds look pretty cool, but it looks like this needs to be maybe even lighter. kind of neat and then maybe I could have it go this way to come out this way so then this needs to go like this there has to be some structure to the winding of this that goes into the distance Little little Lee <laughs> It's Taylor Lee it's Taylor Lee D <laughs> Excellent oh yeah. Lol Love. Alright, Mr. Suave. Suave. Hmm. Fridge boys pill for this five of June is a is, is it already the fifth of June? Tomorrow they're releasing the information on the PlayStation 5. I'm pretty excited. I kinda wanna pre-order, but I don't know if there's even gonna be a single game for it yet. This 5th of June is a semi-lunar eclipse. What? Guys, I may or may not have found a batch of slugma eggs in the stream. Oof, a couple of slugma boys. Good night, boys. I need sleep. Love you guys. Oh, love you, General Demon. Let me look at your guy real quick before you leave. I'm gonna check out your friendo. Okay, you did not post. Oh, yeah, you did. What? What? General Demon? This is awesome. I love the colors in this General Demon. This is so sick. Oops. I wanted to pull this up here. This is really cool. The fa the head looks really good. And then you even have the, the ear connect correctly, which is awesome. I see that structure in the ear lined up with the eye. Um, and I like the horns and I like the body. Looks really good too. You have some nice structure here as well. It's just refining that structure that's gonna like really help you out. Very nice. Very nice, General Demon. I like the shorts too. The hands and the big ol' sleeves. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Make these these lines a little bit thicker for the eyes so that they stand out more and then exaggerate that expression a little bit more to really sell it. The, the nose not so much, the eyebrows maybe a little bit, but it's really just those eyes. Just like really uh, making those lines thicker just so you can exaggerate that. Person pie. Washer Green says, "It's like a Undertale chat or Undertale." I've been like talking. Never mind. Never mind. It's not important. Okay. Well, since this is a, a thingy thing, this is a river, so I have to make it. I have to 
to make it brighter color. Like this much brighter color. There we go. Now it looks like water because it's reflecting that light. Maybe it's like over here too. This should get wider as it gets closer. For can draw Atlantis landscape himself. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think that's true, zombie. <laughs> Some falsified information right there, that's for sure. I can draw all of one thing. Boop. Just that one. This is a zombie's theme song, I think. direction it has to go from this way. these smaller spots. I want to keep the, the larger structure to this. And then maybe do the point. There we go. Really push that back into the distance maybe. Nah, that foreboding's kind of nice. Where did my houses go? Root row. Okay, there it is. Now it's getting too stuck with this. Oof, like I wanna see the stream. Re Hold on. Whoa, Sugoi Desine. Thanks, Taylor. I think I do need to get rid of this one because it's pulling a lot of attention over there.
Oh, look at that. So fancy. And then maybe I could do it here too. Some kind of Pokemon. You got it, Loki. Can I? Yeah, you can. But you can you can put them in the 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 stream intervene channel too. The uh, stream thing, stream post. Fury. Okay, hold on. When Pilfer Pope tilts the canvas, I tilt my head. Oh my gosh, help me. <laughs> he tilts his phone. Pilfer can draw Atlantis. How is Longtail's Pelfoy? What is Longtail's Pelfoy? So, what do you do? You, why did you take my heel for him? <laughs> Oof. Burr. Can I DM blah blah? There are things that bump, things that fight. Hey, Lolly. Things that go bump in the night. Are you talking about the show Bump in the Night? Because that show was pretty cool when I was a kid. What are these things you sent ponder? Brace yourselves. Bruh. Can't box. McFlurries are so good. <laughs> a friend misspoke. Fury. You guys are ridiculous. Ice water. I hear you there, friend. on that side. <laughs> you know you, you could just like refrigerate water right that's like an option just saying not trying to point out your flaws just saying to be within that same containment of this color here, but the extreme version of it may be a little bit darker.
I just don't know where to look. So maybe that's bad. It's getting too complicated now with, uh, with something. Italic of you to assume I have a refrigerator at where I am staying at currently. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Heckin' busted. What if I did this as like a a blue instead? Oops. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. And then maybe this whole thing. <laughs> okay, thanks, bud. I think the top one works best out of all of them. Because it, it's not too bright and it doesn't pull away from the rest of him. Um, but I want to show you something because I kind of get this vibe. Let's see if I can do this. We'll do like a critique time now. Flying giant fox, he's like. <laughs> Let's see. So Yeah, that's good. That actually looks really nice. Um, because all of this is the midtones and none of them overlap. The body's gonna end up as just one figure, which is fine. Um, because the main thing you want to focus on is this here. Because that's where all the personality is, right? And then the tail too. And what I'm what I'm looking at is this. Is you want these three different values in your piece and then you want to specify with these different values right here these two extremes right so it's like you have these five and you want to use these to say like character and then this to be focus so like, this could be like the, the very top of that, okay that could be darker, and then the face could be a little bit lighter like that. And so now he stands out more um, with those values, right? You like really pulls the attention to those things. And then you have those eyes that are just black, which is good, because they're the extremes. And so it pulls more attention, whereas all of this is somewhere in the middle. Um, and then that's why I was saying if you wanted to use red, like that, and now watch. It's still the same because of the red, um, but it but it works out more. If there's kind of like more attention here. The speed of Kirby is C. Yeah, so I think you're doing a great job. Um, but yeah, so you could have it either way where it is uh, bright red because it is like personality. And I feel like your character has a lot of personality with the poses they do. 
so having that more vibrant color shows it reflects that and since the tie is so separate from the rest of the body because the body is just like a like almost like a black suit with just white sleeves it's kind of like plain right because it's a suit and then you have that red tie that kind of like reflects his personality um if the character was a little bit more like oh woe is me you'd get closer to this color here and then if it was really like oh no then oops then you would use something like that that's almost like a gray like really depressed or something so you want it to reflect that kind of like idea in your head of what you have for the character but you did really good i like it very nice uh, becker did did a thing um long tail long tail did a a spoopy boy he's like <laughs> it's like meow um let's see long tail we're gonna we're gonna play with this one a bit so one of the one of the things oh of course one of the things I always do when I'm trying to look at my own work and understand it we'll do it with this one here duplicate which is something that I should have done um, is you go to like image adjustments then hue and saturation basically you want to change the saturation to zero right here or i guess negative 100 and if you notice all of this is the same like tone which is bad you don't want that that was my mistake because i wasn't checking them um i forgot that i that these was it were the same as this this should be darker on top with brighter highlights than this. This stands out on its own if you notice, but it gets boggled in these two colors right here. They're too similar, so it, it kind of like melds together. You want to really separate those, like how this land is separate from all this because of those dark colors. Um, this kind of stands out here, which is pretty nice, but I do need to check my values so that that way this up here, for example, I could do... I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'll just do like a... So that separates them pretty well. Oops. Oh, I should have done that on a separate layer. There we go. And then do it like this. So now it's really pushed back. Or alternatively, I could have had it be like this. Oops. And then now it's really separate again and like more foreboding. Um, but then if I combine them, and this just helps me to see how things are separated. Yeah, so it's like, it's important to be able to check like how you separate things on top of each other so that they stand out from each, from each other. Like even this bunny here, you can see that there's a difference between these colors here. And that really decides the shape of like what, like what it is you're looking at. I could literally just do, you know, all that stuff. And then there's the darker colors here and here and here. Um, but yeah, so that's my two cents for that. Um, but what I was saying about this one is a lot. I can already tell a lot of these colors are gonna like merge together. And if you notice, that's basically like, they're all within the same category. I can do like this to show you the color picker. And you can see like, they're all, it's like barely moving, except for right here, which is really good. These two, this is a good distance for the color picker. Um, this is good too. This is, these two are good. They're kind of like similar, but they're not too much. So I want to show you if I were to duplicate this. Oops. Oops. And then I'm going to... Can I just select every guy? What if we did this for the teeth? Now you're really focusing in on those teeth and what if you highlighted that by using a really dark and then a light on top of it, right? Give him those nice dark lines for his eyes. Same with the top lip here. 
now it's really pulling that out. And same with the muzzle, too. I always do the muzzle because, uh, I don't know, it just kind of grounds the character a little bit more. Um, and then you have this color. But what if we made... Because he is kind of like a dark character, but you have these mid-tones for him. So what if we made this part not too much brighter, but like this much brighter here. Oops, I didn't want. I'm just gonna do this. This is all gonna be the same color as this right here. So now that stands out a little bit more, but it's not as bright as this. And then those paws, um, they could be a little bit darker. Because if this is brighter, then uh, other things could be darker to kind of like separate them and show that they're not as important. And then we're going to make the background darker too. We're just making a little bit darker here. So now those, those stand out uh, a little bit differently than these here. We're not worried about the background yet. So I know it's merging into the background, but we're going to change that. And then what if we made this brighter too? Maybe like this much brighter here for the tail. Um, and then this is going to be... This is actually kind of fine there, honestly. But just in case, we'll make it this color here. Um, and then the ear... This, this color's fine, that color's fine. But I don't want it to be the same as this color here. Or... I guess it is fine, um, just because it is like connected and the same exact color. And then the crown too is another one that I wanted to, to change because it seems like it's important to this piece as well. So we're going to bring more attention to that. What is a pencil? Good question. Meow. How you doing, Calix? Good to see you again, friend. Scribble, scribble. Great coming together. Pill for pub. Oh, thank you, Kujin. I appreciate that, friend. And thanks for all the likes, guys. It means a lot to me. So now we're going to mess with the background to show, actually I might be able to just, nope, that doesn't work, to separate the character from the background as well. It's going to take a little bit to like really grab all this out. So this is a, I used to do the same thing with my art too, until somebody pointed it out, which is why I'm pointing it out to you. Their name was Kez, and they're like, you need to work on your values, and I'm like, you're right. <laughs> um, mask. And so now I'm going to use, I don't want it to be black, but I don't want it to be this color. It has to be darker than this color. So we're going to do this. And now your character pops out a lot more uh, from that background where it was like muddled in it. Um, you could always go darker too, because it is, like I said, a dark character. But I don't want it to overlay the nose. Um, in the situation where it does overlay the nose, you'll use like a sheen or a highlight to separate those objects like this. And then you can have like that kind of like glisten here. And you can also separate them further like this by having like that nice highlight from light. And then maybe that light is coming from this, this crown. And then at that point, you could just be like... Oops. 
now there's it's interacting with its surroundings um, the, the light source um, you can even cut away at some of it if you don't like it because it shouldn't hit the inside of the ear right we can do that and then it shouldn't hit this and so now you're using like volume we can't get that inside of the eye right there um, so then this will be in like a bit of a shadow So stuff like that, king egg, um, and then maybe a little bit of shadow here because since there is light, that means that the the dark is going to show more. So maybe all of this is a little bit darker underneath his head from like that light source. Um, okay, cool. So now we've done that. All right, and then I'm going to do this. Duplicate. Overlay those bad boys. Um, and then I'm gonna go like. There we go. <laughs> but do you see now, like, the difference between these two? Um, you can kind of see how now you notice the eye and the ear and, like, these things that are very important. In Fruit Back to Valorant. Alright, you got it, I'm bad. But before, after. It's just these little principles, right? I didn't really do much other than just these like little things. Um, just to make things stand to make parts stand out more. To really like enforce like what it, I think is important to the piece, which is that grin, that evil appeal. It's like the the balance of like dark and light in the character, right? Because it's like soft and cuddly, but like still has that grin. Also, the crown is important too, so I'm gonna have a lot of the attention brought to the crown and to the eyes and the grin and like these things on the face, and you kind of like exaggerate those things, um, which I think is great. I like this a lot. <laughs> I like this this one a lot too. I need to work more in values uh, with just like blacks and whites. You can make some really nice stuff with just those like mid tones and blacks and whites instead. Is that all of them? Okay, and bad posted a thing. Oh, I'm bad. This is great. She's like, yeah. Of course, it's my pleasure, Crown Fox. I think your art's really good. It's just these little principles and like foundational skills that help a lot. So keep it up, buddy. Oh man, I miss pizza time. I will scribble. Good question. Wee! Little eggy fox man. Foxy man. I am egg. Egg king. King egg. The king is back, egg. King me pilfer pup episode 600. <laughs> egg, egg, egg. I got something in the fridge. King egg. Team. Oh my gosh, that's real. Yeah, you got it. This is really good on bad. I like it a lot. It's tough to draw with pencil and paper because. I used to get super freaked out of like erasing and so it's tough because you have to decide like do I want to finalize this piece with the, with the possibility of making a mistake and maybe that's something that you should practice doing um, and like inking it so you can really define those, those shapes uh, that you have on here. Because then it forces you to make decisions with the piece that you hadn't seen before. But it's also really scary because you can make a lot of mistakes. Um, and you can, um, you can kind of see your flaws and that's like the importance of improving in art, right? Is you want to see those flaws. And it hurts to see them because you're like, I don't, I just want to make good art, right? Like we all do. I think this is really good here. These values are really nice for her. These like buns coming off her hair. And this too. Um, and we don't want to see those because we just want to make good art, like I said. And, but that comes with like practice, sadly. It's not just something you can learn overnight. 
it's like something you have to put into play over and over and over again until it's perfect. I see a lot of these good decisions here, and I like them a lot. But finalizing those good decisions and permeating them in the piece is like really scary. I know too. I mean, I make those decisions all the time in like animation and stuff as well, and it's like, this could look bad if I'm not careful. But I think you're doing really great. Don't think otherwise. I guess that's the side of the, the hand. Oh yeah, it's like the sleeve here. I was like, she's got too many fingers. Oh, there's the other thumb right there. Very nice one, babe. She's like, yeah. These are like the more permanent. I'm time traveler. Sparkle cadet. Yeah. That's pretty fun. All right, because you asked, I'll do one volcano. Let's see, volcano time. No more critique time. Oh, let's see. I think the volcano should be red and some. some of the, oh no, we got another from your grill. It's been a while. Cuba Shine, how you doing, friend? It's good to see you again, bud. We're still doing critique time if you have anything you want to post up. Hot lava, oh baby. This is so fun, Taylor. I love all these little details. You're really capturing a lot of like the personality. Yeah, you separated it. This arm could come out a little bit more too. Um, and then also making sure that the value of that sleeve and the volume of that arm are separate, so I would have made this sleeve even darker, in my opinion. Like that, see? And then it really separates it. And then you could have used it here too to separate this object from that, and then maybe on the lines too. Maybe not, because I think I like this like color you have here. That's good too. Um, the pizza looks really good. Oh yeah, and then I was going to separate this a little bit more, so this arm's going to come up more. There we go. Now there's that space between the body. And oftentimes it is just a matter of like not having the sleeve be so baggy necessarily. You can have it like it looks good here, but it's almost like this arm needs to be like right here alongside the sleeve. And then the bagginess comes out because you have the body and then you have the sleeve like this. And then the arm's going to go like that along the sleeve. And then this is going to droop down, right? All this weight is going to go down that way and it's open here and then you have the hand go this way and that way there's oops, there's this space between the body and the butt shape here for the arm so that way you can separate those sections um, this arm's fine here there is I'm just gonna straight up go out and say it there is um, you have to be careful when there's anything. This is something that I would make a lot and people would call me out on it. And I don't want to be like too crass or anything, but I want to make sure you're aware of this shape. Where is this arm coming from on the body? If we really stop and think about it. So it looks, fine here but i would have made sure it doesn't come from the pelvis because that's always like that that's like a common theme with artists right it's like it's always like oh how come you didn't tell me it looks like this object that i'm not gonna say right yeah exactly and it's not it's not it didn't look like that but i'm saying be careful when doing things when drawing things with that region you want to make sure that the pelvis doesn't have an object coming out of it, right? You want it to have like a separation 
in a, in that. So if there is this object, you can't say like this is connected to that. <laughs> Pelvis arm, thank you. Um, yeah, exactly. And that's that's a common thing that we run into, and it's it's fine. Like you know, never feel embarrassed for that happening because it happens to every artist. There was um, it was a big not controversy. It was like just a big deal or like a big f funny that there was this anime convention and on their flyer there was that it looked it looked like that thing um, because it was just the way the person drew it and it was around that area and y your brain automatically connects it. it's freudian right that's like the whole basis of what freudian is it's like our mind immediately goes to that because that's just what our mind does it's like we're 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 wired that way as as humans you know so that we can survive um but yeah so that um Spent way too much time on that subject, but um, this too, I do like, I think you should separate in sizes maybe a little bit more, because you have these big sleeves here, and the body is already like this big square, and then you have these big square sleeves, um, so that, um, I do like these pants, what if they went in like this, that way you have that big body and then softer, like, uh, thinner pants at the base, but still has those, like, feminine hips, right? That are, like, wide on the side. Um, and then pull that body in a little bit more. And I know she's just a child, so we're not gonna give her, like, super effeminate hips. They're mostly just gonna be, like, generalized. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit better. Because then now your, your character shape should be something like... I think it's gonna be something like this. Oops, let me do it up here. It's like that big T, and then you have almost like this. Um, and then you have the head here. Maybe a little bit of a neck, like a tiny neck like that. Or it could stay in, because she is a, like a child, and child children have no necks, let's be real. And then you have those ears that maybe go with something like this. And then the hat that kind of like finalizes that, you know, like this. With those big eyes. The eyes are sell really well, I think, with the one eyelash. Um, and then you have those arms like this with those big squares on them. And so you can really see the potential of like what you can do. Maybe, yeah, you have those big feet too. So I think it's just little things like that that help a lot. Um, really understanding the structure of like the character design. And remember, you have fantastic character design. Don't ever think otherwise. <laughs> For someone who like a year and a half ago was drawing, I think you had your art looking like something, oops, something like this. And you had these giant heads. I remember this. And you had these like these like faces. I can't remember. It was something like this, something like this, and then you had these like big legs. And this was your art for a long time. It was something like that. Um, but now look at what you're doing. You're doing this these like fantastic character creations. Jennifer Stickman. <laughs> Jennifer Stickman. <laughs> yeah. So keep it up, bud. It's just really refining like big to small, the big to small, and like having those. Uh, exaggerated parts and you had it with the feet and the body but it's like how do we make sure that we refine that idea so keep it up there was oh yeah I was gonna do a yeah a volcano next volcano daru. okay so you were gonna do red so we'll do like a For me, it's literally just when you accidentally delete your art. <laughs> yes. Okay. You chose one volcano picture. Oh no, you chose a few. That's right. Sorry. Oops. So, 
volcano reference. Is that Mount Sayonara? Mount Aloha? Sorry, rabbit. You're getting hecked. I send you to the Shadow Realm. Only cool kids play Yu-Gi-Oh! But real, go but real girls and boys play Pokemon. What are you, a triangle? Alright, see, so now we want to take the, that dark color for the base. And we have that green hill. We're going to keep that green, green hill zone here. I like this, these big like sh triangle shapes for that volcano. Um, with that like snow at the top. So we're going to use that dark, saturated red for the volcano. We'll do it like here. And then we're going to restructure it a little bit. So I do want it to be... This, and then we're gonna go like this. Oops. Cut away at it a little bit. Like this. And give it the illusion that it's still going down off screen. Like it's still going down that way off screen. Um, and that's gonna be. Oh, it's going to be in the distance, so it needs to be a mid-tone. So this is going to go, like, up here somewhere. Something like that, and then which means that we need to separate that background a little bit more. Like here. What color should the sky be? Blue? That's fine. But, like, a hazy blue. Something kind of sad. Zilzil. Wait, did you see my question? I spaced out. Oh, sorry. How do you usually go about pricing commissions, by the way? That, that other Bowser one must have been a lot. The Bowser one was $235 um, because it's I, I have a base price of $135 for an illustration with like one up to two characters, one to two, more just one. Um, and then adding characters on top of that costs extra, extra. And depending on like what you want done, added to it. And since it was a three character piece with like a lot that he wanted on it, um, it ended up more expensive. But base price, 135 If it's something simpler, I could do like 85 If it's just like an icon, I could do for like, you know, 35 <laughs> It's the, the main thing is like, it takes a lot of time, you know, to do this and I have like other things to do in life and I don't necessarily need the money. It's just that I like making art for people but because I know I'm gonna spend so long on it because that Bowser one was like 70 plus hours It was like 80 hours or something um, And so I have to charge otherwise I'm just gonna be there like with a broken brain <laughs> for with nothing to gain out of it uh, But yeah, uh, so that's that's what I do and it, a lot of it is based on like experience, right? Because like I'm a pro I see myself as a professional uh, an experienced veteran um, so I want to make sure that I'm treating myself as such, because the worst, like, you don't want to disrespect yourself, right? Remember when you guys were like, Pewdiepie, play Animal Jam with us. I'm like, no! <laughs> Go home! Uh, I like these clouds here. So we're gonna do something with that. I don't want it to be mid-tone. I do want it to be darker though. More foreboding as well. And it's gonna be behind this. So it has to come out like this. Oh, 
Why, Cubershine, were you looking to do commissions? I think that's a great idea. Anyone who's willing to pay you, you know, that just goes to show how skilled you are. So what if you've taken like figure drawing classes and 3D fundamentals? Where would you rank that in terms of experience level? Novice, amateur? It's hard to say. I think it really goes into like three tiers. There's like the people that draw sometimes, just like I draw sometimes, right? Like if I feel like it. And then when you get commissioned, you're like, ugh, I have to draw, ugh, blah blah blah. There's that skill level, which is like the bottom tier, well bottom tier sounds bad, so like, we'll just say like tier 1, and then there's like tier 2, or C tier, alright we'll just call it C tier, and then B tier is like the people that draw all the time and like study and like are constantly refining and like want that challenge of pushing their limits. And they, they're consistent, right? Like, oh, okay, I'll take up that commission, and then I'll keep working, and whether I'm on commission or not, you know, I'm gonna be, like, pumping out stuff. And then there's A tier, which are the people that are, like, literally have schedules all the time. Like, it's their job to just do art all day. And that's, like, a tier of its own. Um, so, it's, like, those three. And there's... There's not much difference between them, because there's like skill levels between all of them. Because there's people that like, went to school. Should I? Yeah, heck yeah you should. You should start taking yourself as seriously as you want to be taken. You know, it's like, is this what you want to do? Then you have to, you have to like, like, smack yourself out of being like, just a, just someone who's like, oh yeah, art's fine, you know, I like to draw. And be like, oh no, I'm a, prof I'm a professional. I have a Patreon, I do this and that, and like, not only convince other people by like saying like, oh this is what I do, but also convince yourself, like, you need to understand that as soon as you're going to take your, other people are going to take you as seriously as you take yourself, so if you say you're a professional artist, it doesn't matter if they believe you are or not, because the people that don't believe you are the ones that aren't, just aren't going to believe you regardless. The ones that do believe you are the ones that are going to be like, oh hey, let me see what you do, let me see what you draw, and you're like, oh look, I have all of these things that I've drawn, here's my portfolio, which is exactly what it is. Um, so it's really up to you, like, how seriously do you want to be taken, and how seriously do you, are you going to choose to take yourself? Uh, having a Patreon is nice, but it doesn't mean anything. It's like, you can have no customers on Patreon and still get commissions, or you can have no commissions and get a ton on Patreon, right? So it's like, what is your goal for you? And like, how much energy and effort are you going to put into it? And how structured, how much are you going to structure your life around it? It shouldn't be your number one priority. The people that make art and like their art job, their number one priority are the ones that break down the fastest. They're like, I have friends that do that. And they're like always like broken humans because of that. It's like it's not more important than like God, and it's not important more important than like family, right? It's it's just a thing you do. It's like I work as a barista, and I don't define myself and my entirety around that. I'm just like, oh hey, yeah, I make coffee for people. It's just the thing I do. Like art is more important than that, and then you know family more important than that, and then God more important than that for me. So you structure your life in the things that are more important to you from top to bottom, and then you make sure that those things take the precedence in your life, like in order, you know? That's like, that's like the best advice I think I could give to you, like anyone really, in terms of anything, not just art, but like in general. Art is a big deal because it's like, it's constantly a wall you're trying to break down, and I think it does end up sapping a lot of like, your energy as a human being trying to like break through. But anyways, 
that's my that's my ten cents on it. <laughs> that's my two cents. Answer some of your questions, by the way. Like, our lives might not be in alignment the same way, but I think the overall, uh, what I was explaining was like, hopefully helpful to you. I'm on the wrong layer. When you're on the wrong layer, kill me now. looks too static so I want to have variation in sizes It did. I just feel I'm hesitating a lot. I got my first commission two days ago for 45 for six hours of work, but felt guilty because I felt I was overcharging. Is that what you feel like your work? Like, it's one thing to say like $2,000, but I think 45 is actually like a really good basis. Uh, when I started, I think it was at 35, and I was undercharging for the amount of work that I did. I should have been charging 55 at the beginning, but I think 45 would have been perfect. Um, and it's like six hours of work, cool. Um, in my opinion, this is, this is for me personally. This isn't like having anything to do with other people. Uh, I don't. I personally don't charge for time spent, even though yes, I should because you know like. It's like $45 for six hours, cool, but then like the more time you spend, the smaller that money becomes per hour. However, the better it looks by you taking that time and putting that effort into a product that somebody bought, it's like you can get like an iPhone, right? And people always go back and get more iPhones. But if you give them a poopy product, not to say that you would ever think that your own work is poopy, but if you feel like you can continue to improve, it, improve on it, like even a little bit more and a little bit more and like try out new things that you think are cool and make sure that they're okay with it um, at the end of the day that's gonna bring in more people because they're gonna be like oh man this is like even better than I wanted this is more than what I paid for and then they're gonna be like hey friend look at this cool art I have and that's the same with like um, the Yoshi one I did the pirate the pirate Bowser one um, that was because a friend recommended them you know, a friend that really loved and cherished the previous one I did for them, and that person had it because they found one from somebody else, and it's just, word of mouth is like the best business, because you would trust something your friends say over, you know, something that you just see online. Like, if you were to choose between an Xbox or a PlayStation, obviously you're going to go with the one that your friends choose, right? Because you're like, oh, it's, it's not just because, like, I like PlayStation, it's also because my friends have it, and also because they... Like it's almost internally, you're like they know what they're talking about, and so it refer reaffirms what I what I like, right? So, in that same regard, I would personally put as much time as I feel is necessary to make it perfect until you get to burnout. Once you're getting to burnout, you need to like snap into overdrive and just complete it like as quickly as you can. That way, you don't end up starting over or reworking it into oblivion to where it's like not good anymore because that is a thing 
but I think I think you're good. I think you know what you're doing, and just trust yourself, and remember that they commissioned you because you're a good artist, not because they just want something drawn. Stop saying beginner. You're not a beginner if you've sold something, you're a professional. You can say practicing. Uh, I would say three at the beginning because if even not two because <laughs> if you get a lot have you ever gotten a lot of homework right from like every single class and every class gives you a ton of homework and you're like you're like man this is so much homework I don't even want to start because it's too much work for me to, to deal with don't run into that problem start small and build if you feel confident with two then do two if you feel confident with three then do three so on and so forth. I know people that take like 12, 10 to 12 commissions a month and they're like busting butt, right? They're just trying to pump those bad boys out. And I'm just like, oof, oof. I'm, I'm happy with like one to two a month, right? Like if I can get one every three weeks, that's awesome. But I also like really taking my time and making them fun. And it's a whole thing. Like they enjoy watching and, and like working with me and you know, like, oh, listen to this song, and also, like, oh, I like these ideas. What if you did this? And, like, talking about all this stuff that they have in their head. Because I like imagination, and I like working with others' imagination to have it realized and kind of, like, really get in their head and be like, oh, yeah, this is fun. But, you know, it's really what you want to do in terms of the whole project. The songs for you on Bab. You know, there's some like form to it right and then as it gets thinner over here it's because it wraps around you see those lines get thinner on the sides and I know this form could be a little bit better like here so we'll do that
Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and then I can have some like, plants or something. Maybe have some darker colors here. It needs to be more jagged to show like the, the violence of that volcano. It's like a, like a light source, I think. But I think it also does need like these shadows here. I guess I should have followed like the horizon line is the problem with these clouds. There we go, that's much better. I'm like, why do these clouds look so bad? Oh yeah, there's like a horizon line somewhere that I'm missing.
This is just to understand, like, the basis of, uh... How to create, like, a good landscape and just values in between, like, two colors. Okay, but I think that's it for now. It was a great time streaming for you guys. I really appreciate you hanging out, and I really appreciate those questions, Cubershine. It also helped me internalize a lot of, like, what I know, <laughs> but saying it to someone else, like, helps reflect it onto yourself, and you're like, oh yeah, that's right. Structure your life based around what is important. And cool. It should be obvious, but it wasn't for some reason. Anyways, so thanks for hanging out all. Hope you had a great time. Have a great night. Stay safe. Bye.